Hello my friends and welcome back to the channel and today we're going to be talking about the new prestige mode for Evil Dead the game and the news are fantastic. You finally have a reason to come back to the game and play some more with your favorite characters and just do that grind and also get 5 extra points to spend on your skill tree and get some rewards. It's great news and it's what we've been waiting for. There are some concerns we're going to be discussing later in the video about balancing but we're really going to have to see what happens here. We have a screenshot from Saber that they posted together with the article. It does gives us a glimpse of what we can expect with all this. Now, the way this is going to work is we're going to have five extra prestige levels, both for demons and the survivors. So survivors will go up to max level 30 and demons max level 50. So once you hit prestige level one, your character is going to reset to level one. However, you will retain all the points you've acquired so far everything you've gained nothing is going to go away your skill tree stays the same and you're going to gain one extra point to spend on your skill tree this is for both survivors and demons once you hit max level 27 that's prestige level 2 for survivors max level 47 for demons you're going to get a special frame and with every prestige level there are more rewards now the main difference with this is that survivors will get a unique skill level on prestige level 1 and prestige level 5. Demons only get unique skill level on prestige level 5. What does that mean? We're not quite sure. It could be that these are the on the survivors, for instance, this is the skills that you get at level 0, 10, and 25. It might be that those are going to be boosted somehow. It could also be to do with your active ability or pink F. We don't know what it is exactly. There's a lot of room for interpretation on this one, but we think it might be more to do with the abilities you get with level 0, 10, and 25. Remains to be seen. Could this create some issues with balancing? Potentially, it could make the survivors a little bit stronger, but let's be honest, it, maybe the survivors need a little bit more strength because the game is a lot demon-sided at the moment, and I'm playing mostly survivor, and I don't have too much of a trouble because I know if I lose the game, it's either because people are not playing right, or maybe I've made a mistake, like we all do, but it is more demon-sided at the moment. Now, for you to pass on to the next prestige level, you're not only going to have to be at your maximum level but you're also going to have to complete a group of challenges and as you can see here on the screen the saber provided you've got some challenges per prestige level this one here you have to win 20 games have to spend 13,500 seconds on objectives so on and so on so you have something to work towards that what i really like about the challenge is that this is going to incentivize us to play with the characters more because what happens now is especially if you're a new player you hit level 25 with a survival and then you just play with a survivor again and again and again so that you can win more matches, win more spirit points and then you spend the spirit points to level up your other characters. What the prestige mode does incentivizes you to play with the same character because you're gonna have to complete those challenges. However, what you can do, you can spend spirit points to skip certain challenges. But it says here they can spend spirit points to skip a subsection, only the tier is skipped, not the entire challenge. Not quite sure what they mean by this. Maybe someone can tell me on the comments. And then some people have been doing a lot of maths here and I have found a post on Reddit. I'm going to put all the links down in the description so you guys can see for yourselves and can go through the comments and maybe contribute to the discussion. It's going to cost 222,000 spirit points to level up each character to level 25 again. So what you're looking at is an extra a million points to getting your survivors to prestige level 5. We have 16 survivors at the moment that means you're going to be looking at at least 16 million spirit points to get all your survivors to prestige level 5 that's a lot of grind and i don't think anyone's got 16 millions i know people are sitting on 10 million points 9 million points. I haven't heard of anyone with 16 million. And then on top of that, you've got the demons. Demons are level 45. It's almost double what survivors are. So you're going to need at least, what, 2 million spirit points to get the demons to prestige level 5? It's a lot. There's a lot of grind here. It does come with rewards. And I'm very excited about all this. If anything, I think there should be more cosmetic rewards rather than skill tree points. Because will this cause some balancing issues? To be honest with you, I think think it might cause some imbalancing. It might increase that gap between level 1 players or completely new players and season players, full level, 30. At the 
moment, the problem we have with the lobbies is that once people get into a lobby, you have people at level 25 and then they see someone's level one, they pull out and then the whole lobby dismantles. The lobby is a problem itself. It's, it's a terrible system. But anyway, all I'm saying is that the way it is at the moment, high level people don't want to play with low level people because they know they will struggle throughout the game and they might not win the game because of the low level people. Will this exacerbate that problem? Possibly yes, but we are going to have to wait and see what happens. What I'm most excited for is not only the cosmetic rewards that we get, the extra five points that we'll be able to spend on the skill trees of each survivor and demon. This is going to open up a huge amount of potential for new builds. At the moment, we need to direct our builds more towards range damage or more towards melee damage or for the demons, it's all about basics or elites. It's very difficult to have a more of a mixed build with an extra five points on your skill tree that you will be able to really expand your options and make obviously stronger builds also what this prestige mode means is that saber although they're terrible at communicating what's coming roadmaps we don't get none of that and then when patch notes drop half of it is missing it just shows that they are listening and they are willing to make improvements to the game i mean we already have survivors with new abilities and new ways of playing the game such as the blacksmith craft abilities and then the plague bringer also brought a completely new way of using the demons abilities when they're possessing the units it uses infernal energy rather than just on cooldown so it just shows that they are willing to make those changes and try new things and they are listening to the community and if anything i have to commend them on that now what do you guys think do you think this prestige system is gonna make the game better is it gonna cause more balance is it gonna cause more problems what are the pros and the cons that you see with all this system if you watched the video until now please hit the like button and subscribe for more evil dead news thank you so much for watching and i will see you all next time